What's up everybody? So for our third installment of Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm going to be showing you how to get this grey blue ombre inspired by the stylist Olori Swank. So if you want to see how we get fierce and fabulous with this color and style, stay tuned. So this is what you'll need for the ombre. And the hair that I'm using in this video is from EvaWigs.com. This is their blonde virgin hair. This weave is a double wefted weave, so it's a lot thicker than your average weft, and it's a lot shorter too, which I'm not used to, but we'll get more into that later. So, with my blonde hair, I started out with my gray dye first. Now, with this color additive, this 050 additive from Wella, this is actually an additive that you add in hair color to make it more cool if you need to but I see a lot of people on YouTube using this color to get gray hair and me being me I'm like I have to try this out to see I'm like I don't, I don't believe it but I tried it out and I love it so basically what I did here was I mixed two ounces of the color so two bottles of that 050 toner and to that I used two ounces of developer per bottle so all together I used four ounces of developer to two ounces of the color additive and mixed it together look at that flick of the wrist look at the flick of the wrist a so you pretty much have to mix it together work it you know work it in really good and it'll start to turn into this gel like consistency don't worry that's what it's supposed to look like And I find using this toner or this color additive, whatever you want to call it, for the, the sake of my sanity, I'm going to call it a toner in the video. So using this toner, um, it was definitely, it's, it's pretty easy to use, but it was hard because it comes out, you know, obviously it's clear when you first put it on. So I can't really tell where I was putting the color at. I'm like, I just got to wing it and see what happens because you know me, I like a flawless ombre effect. And um, I had a hard time seeing where I was putting the color at first because it's clear, but as it oxidized a little bit, it got a little bit easier. And I decided when doing this style, I didn't really want a lot of gray this time around. I kind of wanted more blue, so I only did it about four to five inches down. Um, and you want to make sure that you flipped your hair over and get the other side make sure everything is evenly covered and you know work the color all the way through because these wefts that I have are double wefted I found that I really had to um, you know evenly saturated on both sides because it didn't fully absorb on one side and after you put the color on after about 10 or so minutes it's gonna start to get really really dark and you're gonna be like oh my god what did I just do to this hair is it gonna turn black no this is what it's supposed to look like as it oxidizes trust me once you wash it out you're gonna get the perfect gray color so as that color is processing I decided to go ahead and just mix my blue colors together. I'm using two bottles of Adore Indigo Blue as well as one bottle of Midnight Blue from Kiss Express. So no matter how many bundles of hair you have, always remember if you want to get that exact same color I did, it's always going to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So let's say you're using one bottle of Adore color. You're going to use a half a bottle of the Kiss Midnight Blue. So it's always going to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So I just mixed all those colors together and I gently mixed them together. I never shake my hair color because when you're using a squeeze bottle, once you start shaking that thing up, it's going to explode in your face. And nobody's trying to look like a smurf. So after I mixed that blue color together, I washed out my hair. And this is the gray color that it came out in. Very, very gorgeous, bluish, steel tone gray, almost similar to the color that I got from Adore, the platinum dye.
so now it's time to put the glue on and now we can really play now I don't know why I decided to do this I'm like yeah let me just squirt it all over the place it's just gonna make it so much easier and so much faster no I spent more time trying to blend the color in from doing this than how I normally do it so once I got my life and got some common sense again I just put some color in a bowl and started painting the hair on now when I do my ombres especially with the color I start with more product at the bottom working my way up to the top to where I want my ombre to start and then I flip my brush vertically and really work the color in there because by the time you get to the top where you want your ombre to start you want your brush to be fairly dry and fairly you know you don't want to have a lot of product on the brush as you're trying to blend that in now depending on how you like your ombre this will take you a little while if you want it to be perfectly blended like I do it's going to take a little bit of time but it's definitely definitely worth it And I never like to do a, a ombre that's straight across. So as you can see, I kind of did like a zigzag effect on the hair. So some spots are higher than others, which is perfectly normal. I love it that way. It just gives the hair a little more dimension and just a little more va va voom when you put it all together. So definitely remember, as you get towards the top of where you want your ombre to start, you want to make sure your brush is on the dryer side and do not forget to flip your wefts over because you can be working hard on one side and it looks perfect and then you flip it over it looks a hot mess so definitely make sure to flip it over and color the other side now we can get started with the quick weave and you have to excuse my hair I I had first done my hair in the full full shave style if you haven't seen that video I'll leave a link down below but I then decided I just wanted to do the top so I had to take off the bottom layer so that's why you see a couple of straggly ends in there so it normally doesn't look a mess like that and just so you know because I get a lot of questions on this I do have my uh, protection serum on top of my hair I'm not gluing on top of my hair like I said if you want to see that video on how I prep my hair for quick weaves definitely check the link down below now getting into this quick weave, I apologize, again, your girl is a little bit rusty, so I wasn't looking straight at the camera, it wasn't focused all the way, but I left a little diagram in here as you can obviously see on how I glued my tracks in. So starting out, I'm gluing it in a almost like a J formation. And I like doing it this way because it doesn't, I don't have a lot of hair in my face. Now if you want more hair in your face, you can definitely do a C-like formation. But me, I like medium weight, so I just did it horizontally. Well, I did it vertically. So once I get to a point that's high enough I feel comfortable, then I'm going to start gluing the tracks just plain vertically until I get to the edge of my hair. I left about a quarter of an inch out because we're going to do a braid and you don't want the braid to be too low and hide your part. So while I finish up the quick weave, let me talk to you a little bit about this hair from Eva Wigs, which is much different than anything that I'm used to just because like I said before this hair is double wefted so I was able to fit in three full bundles of hair um, and still have enough space and in my hair it feels comfortable it's not heavy which I love so I feel like I might be using Eva hair a lot for my quick weaves as I've been slowly but surely converting to using virgin hair for my quick weaves just because I want my hair to last a little bit longer and since I do reuse the hair quite often I'm like I want it to last a long time so you know I'm definitely loving this hair so far it's nice and soft and it's shiny and it I haven't had any tangles or anything with it and I've had it in for about two weeks now at the posting of this video anyway so yeah this hair is great I definitely love it you should definitely check it out 
So now that we're done our quick weave, we are going to put our braid in. So you want to take about a half inch of hair, if you have any extra hair left. Um, and you just want to braid it down. You don't want your braid to be too thick, but then again, it is your personal preference. I wanted a braid that's on the thinner side, but if you want a thicker braid, girl, do you and stay true. <laughs> Shameless Maya style. But um, yeah, my camera cut out, so I kind of had to reenact a couple bits. So basically, you want to pin it somewhere in the middle of the back. You don't want to pin it all the way at the bottom. Somewhere right in the middle so you have some hair at the bottom and the top, if that makes any sense. And then you just wrap it around, you know, size it up to see if it looks right. And if you want to have a little bit more security, you can place a little bit of glue on that top track and place your braid on there. And it's not going to go anywhere until you're ready to take it out. Now, I didn't show you fully how I curled my hair. A wand curl is a wand curl is a wand curl. But I did want to show you a little bit of the curling process just to show you how the color, this gray color, kind of stripped when I was curling my hair or when I put any type of heat to it. Like the blue color is fine, but once I started to curl the gray hair, you know, the color started to fade and lift a little bit. I'm like, uh-uh, honey, this is not cute. I mean, in the end, it does look a little bit worse on camera than it really is in person. But, I mean, it, it kind of looks like highlights, but still, I'm like, I'm surprised at how fast that color kind of just, just faded from me using my curling iron um which is the sapphire curling wand from irresistible me if you haven't seen my review for that i'll leave it down below but yeah so if you plan on using this toner from wella this color additive the 050 definitely um know that if you use a a lot of heat in your hair like if you need to style your hair fairly often just be aware that your color might strip and you know it might come off but yeah so that's pretty much it girls so this is what the style looks like when you're all done it's pretty gorgeous I am super super happy with the result of it I'm definitely feeling very swank I'm definitely on my Allori steez um you know I'm not as stylish as her but maybe some of that will rub off on me so um, but I'm definitely feeling 50 shades of fierce in my 50 shades of gray hair so if you guys like this video definitely thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you try this style definitely tag me on instagram using the hashtag i am urban glam and as always i will talk to you guys later